Hey there YouTube, just want to make a quick video on sleeping bag liners. Right here I've got three items. Uh, the SOL Escape Bivy, which is not really um, a sleeping bag liner. The Thermalite Reactor Plus, which allegedly adds 20 degrees to your sleeping bag. And the Thermalite Reactor Fleece Liner, which is new for 2016 from Sea to Summit. Uh, just want to give you an overview um, and give you some weights as well and how the bag performs. So I've got my scale right here. Uh, let's look over the SOL bivy first. 8.3 ounces with the included stuff sack. 9.7 for the Thermalite Reactor Plus. And the Thermalite Fleece Liner at 13.4 ounces. Now, I'm going to talk about the Thermalite Reactor Plus and the Reactor Fleece first. Take a look at the sizes here, in comparison to my hand, I wear size large gloves. Um, I'm 5'8", 200 pounds, so I haven't had any issues with fitting in the bags. Um, my cousin who's 6 foot 1 also uses the SOL Bivy and he hasn't had any issues, although a lot of guys uh, seem to say that it's pretty small for guys above six feet. Now the Thermalite Reactor Plus allegedly supposed to is supposed to add 20 degrees Fahrenheit. There's three of these uh, that were originally released uh, yellow, the red and the orange which is the extreme at 25. I find that this only adds about five degrees or so um, of warmth. And I didn't see much of a difference between the performance of this fabric uh, and the thickness compared to the lesser um, fabric in any of the reviews. Now, I was very excited after they released the fleece liner because this is my wife's, I returned mine. I tried it last year uh, or the year before that and I didn't find that it was worth the weight that I was carrying nor was it worth the price at about $63. And uh, for most people, if you were going to use a liner anyway, uh, it's about 60 bucks for most silk liners, might as well get some sort of uh, advantage to it, uh, in my opinion. So I returned mine, and when I found the Thermalite Reactor Fleece Liner, I was very excited. And the material is really nice. It's like a nice brushed fleece and it's got some pull cords. I'm not going to be taking out the bags. Uh, it's basically like a mummy bag. Um, but the material is really nice, very comfortable. The m main problem that I have, which is with most of the reactor series, is that they're very pricey for what they do. Now the Thermalite Reactor Fleece, I guess it's pretty close to 10 or 15 degrees of warmth. It's like putting on a nice, you know, 100 gram uh, fleece um, sweater and uh, it's very comfortable. My issue is that it is a little bit bulky, but it's really more of the price. This is $85. And the SOL Bivy or the SOL Escape Bivy really does outperform both of these products. It's not much bigger in size than the Reactor Plus. Uh, the Reactor, the original Reactor, the 15 degree one, is, is definitely more compact than this right here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit smaller. And that one only weighs in at about 8 ounces. Now, the Escape Bivy, which is only 8.4 ounces, you know, it's about 8.3 ounces. So, the only problem that most people would have with this, it, it is a little crinkly because it, it's more of a plastic. Uh, mylar material and but it's breathable 
it works really well only cost forty five to fifty dollars and I would say if you base it on performance you slip this inside of your bag instead of trying to fit it's too it's actually a little small for as in use as an actual bivy where you're putting the bag your sleeping bag inside of this because this is smaller than your sleeping bag it's better to be used as a liner and it really does add about 15 degrees of warmth to your bag um, and it's 80 to 90 percent reflective of your body heat and what I really like doing is having clothes underneath I don't use zero degree bags or 15 degree bags I just have a 32 degree down bag I bought down pants and I bought a ultralight down anorak from Mont Bell so for zero degree weather you know uh, and into the teens if it starts going down to the single digits which we had on one winter camping trip that we did where it's four degrees I just had on my down pants my down jacket and uh, use this along with my 30 degree bag and I find that I'd rather have that than have to buy different uh, sleeping bags throughout the year and uh, this thing I would say if you cannot do uh, cannot bear with the uh, crinkly noises that this this fabric makes if you toss and turn quite a bit and it's gonna keep you up I really would uh, say the $85 for the reactor fleece might be worth it for you. Now it is on the heavier side, uh, not a pound, but 13.4 ounces is not that light for you ultralight guys. Um, I would prefer the SOL Bivy uh, over the other two items that you see here. Um, but this is, this is something that if it wasn't for the $85 price tag, I would definitely keep this um, because it's, it just feels so good. This material is just really really comfortable against your skin and the bag is just sized right the stitching is wonderful it's all flat there's no loose stitching that that rubs up against you and makes it uncomfortable um, comes in a very nice stuff sack uh, this is this can be used for moderate temperatures if your area only goes to about 60 or 70 degrees in the summer um, this I've used down to 50 degree nights by itself and this I used last uh, this summer down to about 60 degrees I do recommend socks for those who have their feet get cold my feet get cold quite a bit um, and uh, I used this and the temps were down to about 60 degrees and it was pretty comfortable uh, I don't bring down bags with me over the summer because it's just too warm for me um, so yeah that's about it I uh, just wanted to share that with you um, because of the price I am contemplating returning this item to REI uh, I did return my Thermalite Reactor Plus if I you know uh, this is my wife's Reactor Plus she likes her she says it works for her for me it doesn't um, REI is one of the best places to be if you don't shop at REI and you like going outdoors uh, you're missing out on a great store. They have a one-year return policy and you could use the product and you just return it as long as you purchase it a year uh, you know with you know you purchase it and you can return it within a year and uh, They have a good selection and if you become a member, you don't even have to keep track of your receipts. So uh, Anyway, just wanted to share that please like share and subscribe um, I'm starting to look at items that I have right now and starting to put my gear together for fall and winter trips. So this is a nice addition for those of you who don't want to purchase uh, other down bags. This is one way that you can increase the temperature and the capability of your, your uh, sleep system without having to buy another down or synthetic bag. And uh, I will be going to... Uh, show you some combinations that I will be using in, in future videos. So thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.